everyone, it's Liam with Lovely Scrappin'. I just wanted to show you quickly um, two things that I came up with today while making my sister's um, wedding mini album. Um, it was meant to just be a trim tutorial, <laughs> but then um, while doing it, I ended up coming up with this flower. So this is kind of the back, so you can leave it as this and just have one little tiny thing in the center. Sorry, let me focus for you guys. Or you can have nothing in the center if you want, or you can do it like this, where there's like, I just put three beads in the center. Um, and this was using a wider trim, and you'll see in this um, tutorial to follow um, how I made this. Um, but the goal of this tutorial is actually to make this trim. I just, I wanted something to line this frame. Um, this was a die cut frame. It was actually really big and I cut it into um, smaller pieces, glued it together, and then to hide some of the joining parts of it, I wanted to do a trim. But I didn't really have anything that was roughly this small, so I figured I would make my own. Um, so really easy, super simple. It was just a bit time consuming because the, the size of this frame, you're gonna need a lot of ribbon um, because you're bunching it all up, so. Um, and then I just added, um, a butterfly from Carla 001 Etsy that I recently got and these are some of those pear charms that I recently um, got on eBay and tie them to a bow and glued it on there and it is a functional frame so um, my sister will be able to put a picture and there's some acetate there um, anyway this page isn't quite done I'm still of course going to be putting more goodies on here to uh, make it pop out even more but I just wanted to show you how I did this trim I figured I might as well do some tutorials while I'm doing this album because I kind of make things up as I go along so I hope you guys like the tutorial hang in there and um, you'll see a flower and a ribbon tutorial thanks guys um, so anyway I'm just going to take it and start in the very middle and I've got just some thread on a needle and I'm just going to start doing a straight stitch all the way through the center of this. So just like this. Let me just bring it closer so you guys can see. Sorry if the volume is low. Um, my phone doesn't have very good sound quality when I'm recording my videos. And I'm also not talking very loud right now because my baby is sleeping. And that is usually the only time I can get videos out there is when she's sleeping. <laughs> so all I'm doing is going through this and doing a straight stitch along the center of this, okay? So I'm going to continue going on and I will come right back. Okay guys, so I was continuing going along here and doing the straight stitch. And then, um, so when it's all straight like that, it just sort of looks like that. But I just started to pull along and it starts to bunch up and so you can have your trim as bunched up as you want or lay it like let it a little bit looser or however anyway but what I want to tell you is this ribbon and I had a feeling this was going to happen is a little bit too thick for what I'm wanting to do on this frame I would just want it to be a lot thinner um, so instead of using this as a trim which I could use it as a trim somewhere else in the album but I was playing with it and I pulled it as tight as it can go and it is all bunched up like this but I brought it together this is where just random ideas kind of happen <laughs> through mistakes and it's gonna make a really cute flower like almost like a little rose so what I'm gonna do is tie the end together well I'm actually just gonna do a few more stitches I think to make it a little bit bigger so this is going to be kind of a trim slash flower tutorial <laughs> you get two in one you guys so anyway I'm just going to do a few more stitches in the center just to make the flower a little bit bigger and I guess if you want to know the length, let's just measure it so you have an idea of how much I've so gathered. It looks like 12, 13, about 14 and a half inches long. I've done the stitch. So I'm just going to cut it here, making sure that I don't cut where I've just ended in my sewing. I'll cut it right there. 
So you've got 14 and a half inches of ribbon and you're just going to pull it tight. So I'm going to bring in the ends in together. So I'm just going to do a stitch in the end that I started. And that is going to tie in the flower together. I'll just do some reinforcing. Maybe loosen it a bit so it's not so tight. I just I think that is so cute and I'm gonna put a center in maybe a pearl or something to go with this wedding album theme Thinking, I'm liking that. So I'm just gonna trim off the beginning little thread here. Cut this off, and I'm just gonna tie it in. Okay, so I just finished tying it up. I'm just gonna snip the thread. Maybe any other extra pieces, and I'm just going to sort of play with it a bit to make it a little bit more open, and then I'm going to add a center to it. Okay, guys, so I just um, found these beads of mine, and I tied them together, and that's going to be the center, and I'm just going to show you here, too. Um, there's just a little bit of the ends there, that, and I'm just going to melt them ever so slightly just so they don't fray there. So that just seals it a little bit. Okay, so this is kind of what the flower's looking like. I'm really thinking it's cute. Excited about mistakes. Okay, so I think I like how that's looking and I'm going to just take some hot glue and just put it on my beads. and just put it on the center. And that is my flower, you guys. I think it turned out pretty good. I hope you like it. Okay, so now I'm going to make the trim. <laughs> so hang in there, guys. Okay, guys, so I think this trim is going to be the size that I need. So same technique that I did in this first one. I think what I'm going to do though initially is melt the edges to begin with just to prevent any fraying along the way. Okay. So hopefully you guys can make this out. But that's not too busy of a background. Okay, so again, I'm going to just take the center and just do a running stitch, straight stitch, whatever you call it. I'm not a sewer guy, so <laughs> don't really know the terminology for this. But anyway, as you can see, I'm just weaving in and out. It looks like that. Just weaving in and out through the center. And you're going to go as long as you want your trim to be in terms of the length after it's been pulled and scrunched together. Okay guys, so I'm going to continue my straight stitching and I'll come right back just so you don't have to watch the entire process. Be right back. Okay guys, so I've gone as far as I think I'm going to go. I think this is going to be enough to um, do my frame. Um, so this is what it looks like when you've scrunched it together. And you can have it like looser if you want or you can have it really tight. So that is kind of what it looks like. Let me just, oh, sorry guys, <laughs> the neighbors. Okay, so yeah.
So I'm just going to cut it off now. Actually, I'm just going to go down to the very end here. Okay. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play with the um, the look of it now. I just want to make sure that it's going to be, you know, the, the look I want. I don't want it too bunched up and I don't want it too far apart. But for the most part, I think I've already kind of done it as I went along to see how long I needed it. I think that's good. I like the way this is looking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie the ends because I'm going to glue it like a square anyway on my frame. <laughs> kind of reminds me of one of those shell necklaces. <laughs> there you go. There's an idea. It could be a necklace, you guys. <laughs> okay, so that's tied. I'm just going to trim off the excess. And I'll just make sure that's hidden nicely when I glue it. So I'm going to just glue it on here and I'll show you what it's going to look like when it's all done, guys. Okay, just hang in there.